Now today the weatherman promises us an absolutely beautiful day. It might even, might even go into the 70s, mid 60s, maybe low 70s. But what happens all the, in all of these days, they start out really chilly. So <laughs> you never really know if the weatherman's got you or <laughs> it doesn't have you. But anyway, I, it, it's actually, I've been thinking about getting out the summer riding gear, but it's really not time for that yet. I'm, all, I'm, I'm getting the, the horse ahead of the gavilta fish here. And Karen reminded me, all of these rides, it actually works out pretty good for me. Because here's what happens. We have about an hour of gardening to do every morning. Watering things in, cleaning the fish pond. The wisteria is all falling in the fish pond. And then pretty much making sure everybody, the, the varmint is eating her vegetables. And so we ordered this electronic thing. It's like a, uh, it shoots out ultraviolet rays or something. And we're going to see if that works. Because our lettuce crop is going down the drain. I mean, the motorcycles are all ready to go, but the lettuce isn't ready to go. So the problem with being a farmer. Anyway, I'm hoping we really are going to have a good day. And we're going to try to ride up in the uh, Harriman Park area. Go up and see if anybody's up there uh, hanging out with the bad guys. Or they just got released from prison or witness protection or whatever. It, somehow it always turns out to be a fun day. And one of my real hopes is that Rob is going to be able to break away from his job. You know, this is this, this is the problem when you move up in a company. You get to be that they have you 24-7. And... Uh, this is what, when you're the janitor at a company, you always have Saturday and Sunday off. When you move up the ranks, sometimes you never have off. And Rob is finding that out the hard way. But I really still wanted him to get the first ride on this. And I thought about riding this today. Uh, I'll take the GS and I'll be just make it easy, easy peasy. Because I wanted the guys up at the Ducati to see it, of course, in real life. Uh, several of the people have told me they really like it. That uh, Bob... Uh, Said he thought it came out pretty cool. So, anyway, it looks like that day is going to be postponed again. And, well, we're, we're just going to take it one day at a time. But, but the bike's not going anywhere. It's still an unridden, restored bike as of today. So, Karen and I do the perp walk every morning. And you can see what's happening. Our beautiful wisteria, which uh, is one of the pride and joys of our life here. Every morning, I have about a 20-minute thing of cleaning it out of the pond. And I really never feed the fish until I clean the pond, so they're, they're getting a little bit anxious. They go, well, what? come on, clean, clean already, clean. But first we have to check what the varmint did. So what happened is the varmint, he left this lettuce. Now what is this lettuce? This, this is, is what's left over of some beautiful lettuce. And this used to be lettuce yesterday. Yes. The varmint ate it. And there were... Mark Morgan's having the same problem, by the way. There were five. And look what they, they just left little stalks. There were five parsleys. This is oh what my God. We're going to get them. I'm and getting that electronic nuclear and reactor. This, and this was a jalapeno pepper. It was a jalapeno pepper. And this was um, an heirloom tomato. Oh my God. And I think they're going to win, Karen. <laughs> and this was an heirloom tomato. That was a tomato. but eh, This is the life of a gardener. It was, was. The big word here is was. But what we're going to do is we're going to get this electronic thing that sends out x-rays or something and ultrasonic and tries to uh, avoid avoid having all our veggies eaten. And luckily, they don't like my zinnias, but they do like our veggies. So usually when we sit out here and have our coffee and relax a little bit and clean out the pond, just, just wisteria is beautiful right up into the point it drops into the pond. Every day is an adventure. Sometimes they're good adventures, but today, Karen was not happy. She's not happy with the varmint. We're going to nuke them. And this is basically how we have to start off every day. During the wisteria season, anyway. And then we have the leaf season, and then we have the, uh, well, I don't know. The life of a farmer. It's never easy. A fishmonger. This is not funny, all the neighbors are getting together because they're eating the vegetables in the neighbor's yards too. We're going, we're going nuclear. That's it. We got to get nuclear weapons. All right, guys, I did as good as I could with the uh, wisteria, but uh, I see you're hungry. Look at them. They're going wild over there. Anyway, but what happens is, as soon as I clean it 10 minutes later, but I just try to keep up with it. And Karen's over in the neighbor's yard there. I think she just went over there to... Uh, they're coming up with some solution for all of the neighbors. We have rabbits this year. 
We have rabbits, a groundhog, and I, I don't know, a T-Rex or something that's eating all these, <laughs> all these vegetables. Sort of farm work is done. It's finally time for a cup of coffee and check the final weather. Oh, it's supposed to be really nice today. There'll be, <laughs> there'll be plenty of people in the park today. Sort of permanent solution is you just grow everything in a hothouse, like uh, well, we're turning our backyard back roomy into a hothouse. But this is this is the fun that Karen is having. Now the marigolds are growing, and they're growing wild. She's got arugula, and I'm just showing. We didn't have any lettuce for a couple of days, and now we got enough lettuce for supper. And the tomatoes are growing. I feel like I'm Italian already. But but the good news is with all of these vegetables, and thank you, Nanda Navola. The good news is there we are, ready, as soon as I have my coffee, time to get out on the open road with this baby. Time for a little oogling. Oogling is so important. It's just so important to have a, something to oogle when you're having your cup of coffee. I'm sure Dallas agrees. Hey, Gil's got his new Harley. We ought to waddle over there. I see the windows open. I ought to go make some noise and see if he wants to show me his new Harley this morning. Look at this! <clears throat> How happy can a girl be? She's got two things of chicken wire for her garden. The lucky dog. So when I get back from the ride today, it'll be chicken wire day. We got a chicken wire up our garden, but it's time to get on the open road. Now Karen decided before I head out, one more cup of coffee. I agree, Karen. You're, and Karen is always right about this extra coffee thing. I don't want to fall asleep out and at the middle of the ride. While you're riding, So the day started off and the weather was perfect. Everything was going great. We decided to take the long way up to Perry's, up to the Ducati place. And ultimately wind up on Seven Lakes Drive going through the park. Big mistake. Seven Lakes Drive, not a good choice today. And actually the back, the back roads were the only good part of this ride. Suzuki solid as a stone. Look at that stone. Same color too. Solid as a stone. Yes, anyway, this really was a disappointing ride through the park today. Not a good ride. And this was the best part going through the golf course, which is right on the way. really had no idea how crowded the park was going to be and 106 was shot. And to tell you the truth, the park is still loaded with potholes, so it really got me disappointed. But 
All the roads going up there were fine, right before we got the Harriman Park. Well, you can see the sky is blue. Everything is just as just perfect. It's just a perfect day. We were hoping to link up with some of our friends up by Ducati. But what happened is we got a super late start on the day. With all the action going on at the house and the farming going on and all the tractor repair and everything. wound up getting rid of some of the footage that was just going through the park because all it was was traffic. And here we are, we finally arrive at Rockwell Ducati. See the guys. A gang that couldn't shoot straight. Not many of them left we got there so late. How are you doing? You missed your pal. I know, I did it on purpose. Aww. World famous Pokey, star of Windy Videos. You look good without your hair and mustache, and the teeth come out too, or what? Hey. Oh, look at this! Wow, boy, big money never sleeps here. Wow. Is the channel the... would like you to paint his wheels? Those yellow they wheels? Look... I call they'd them cheese. Good. They look like cheese. They'd look good with uh, <laughs> your paint job on them. Moto Pokey. Yeah, it still looks good. How many miles you got on that now? Uh, 30, <coughs> 3, wow, did you change the oil and everything yet? Why? Why? What a good question. Yeah, I changed it. So I missed Crazy Luciano good. here. Yes, you did. What are the famous people we're here this morning? I saw Jerry going down the road. And is there any real reason to ride the park anymore? There's less traffic in Manhattan. We should That's get we should get together in Manhattan. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I never I never got out of first gear. It was a waste to go and go shame. through it. I gotta find another way to get here besides going through the park. Well, you gotta come earlier. No, no, I, with her garden, I gotta be home. When you're a farmer, the gardening is your life. Look at that trailer, that's pretty cool. Look at that, check it out. That is neat. Look at that, that is really neat. Look how the roof goes up and everything. I gotta tell Luciano to get one like that, so... Uh, <laughs> We can do track days again. Sounds good. Moto Guzzi, baby. Moto Guzzi. What are these years you're gonna own one? Well, let's put it this way. When you make out your will, you can leave me this one. I got a nice red one. I got a nice red one at home. But this one's nice. I'll take this one. Oh. Same price. Yeah, that's a good looking bike. I know Luciano's jealous. He wants one. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I asked him. He said never. He wants that and a provolone cheese. <laughs> right safe. All right. Have a good day, my friend. Victory Guard, you're headed again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in case of the nuclear war, we'll have enough vegetables. So it looks like we're being dominated by the world of Moto Guzzi here today. Luciano already left. I'm going to head up north and see if there's anything. I am not going back through the park. I'm done with the park, temporarily anyway. They, that had to be a thousand cars parked along the side of the road. That was unbelievable.
and so we wound up taking a different way home and it was a good choice. Too bad 106 was closed, the other half was closed. Some nice houses up there, too. I think we're just going to take a different way home and up to the park, but not going through the park. I guess because of the virus and the other things, probably is going to be back in front of the park. It's going to be home. Well, I'm going to have to go What has turned out to be an unexpectedly beautiful day. But then they're all, oh my God, we got a blue jay over us eating seeds in my driveway. Blue jays, we, we very few blue jays. Oh, here comes the wife with the coffee. How's that coffee coming, baby? It's coming. It's coming, so is Christmas. <laughs> so the coffee's brewing and more of wisteria is in the pond than up on the top right now. Another big cleanup. A beautiful day, a beautiful ride, and it's only one thing could have been better if I didn't have to clean the bugs off the bike now. Where we were today, bug-o-matic. But, but farmers like uh, Wendy the farmer, we get used to dealing with dirt and bugs and soil and grease and everything. But anyway, as I always try to do, I try not to ever forget to thank the COVID workers, all the workers that make that make the ride today possible. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks a lot for watching.